Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths! And yet another video that only exists because I took one look at the giant From the Depths to-do list, uh, including such things as more breadboard videos and the steam engine tutorial, which at this rate I don't think is ever going to happen. I threw my hands up in disgust and tiredness and thought, you know what, let's do something completely different that absolutely nobody asked for. Uh, so here we have a huge swarm of flying squirrels, and over here we have a jet fighter of sorts. And those of you who've been keeping up with uh, channel content might recognize this thing a little bit. It is actually the Kram uh, fighter that I made some time ago, uh, discussing the pros and cons of. Uh, mostly cons, by the way. And given that this is 2023 and I want to expand my horizons and do more stuff uh, that is not cram, I swapped out the cram cannon for an APS. So this is not the best APS in the world. It's 54 millimeters, four of them, each one 145.4 RPM. And it's firing a shell that is going to get me crucified in certain Discord servers. So it is a timed fuse. 180 degree frag, but with a squash head on it, uh, specifically so that if it misses, it's, uh, it scratches the paint, uh, but if it has a direct hit, it makes a real mess. So, oops. So the result actually works pretty well, and is actually making me think that, uh, well, APS is just hands down the best uh, weapon system in the game, and if you disagree with that, uh, I would be fascinated to hear your reasoning, because it's just pound for pound, it is the most versatile, and does a crap ton of damage, and is, like, overall it just has the most balanced stats of anything, really. And once you start mixing in railguns, it is spectacular. So, this thing is basically squirrel-proof, and, uh, I say as it gets its paint scratched by squirrels, and, uh, it's just overall just a great uh, air superiority thing because it just flies over the top of things, shoots them in the head, and is fast enough, it flies at about 148 meters per second, uh, to keep up with most things, and it can solo things like a mobula. So, uh, when jet fighters don't usually do the trick, so against larger aircraft and stuff like that, this thing actually does pretty well. I haven't tested against uh, some of the more scary airships in the game, but. It does great. Also, missile interceptors, I swear, are, like, really damn good these days. Because this thing runs too hot and is too big for decoys to work really well, but missile interceptors just make a mess of things. And at this scale, flak doesn't really do much, but timed frag, well, it does that. And, occasion and the odd direct hit from those hash shells uh, actually does work quite well. I'm not sure what this video is, it's not really a tutorial or anything like that. Also, gotta love the little camera on the, just on the, on the turret so you can see what's happening. Yeah, audio is a little bit clipped by the sound of it. But anyway, so, if we go down here, uh, all of these shells have slightly different timing on them, so they kind of uh, catch up a little bit differently. They kind of surround the thing in a little carpet of frag. You see bits flying off. Let's see. Yep. And disintegrate. So, squirrels aren't tremendously exciting. Uh, they're actually not that difficult to kill. Uh, once you can, If you can hit them, they die. But what about something else? Where is my friend here? Okay. So, we're like so. Let's spawn in something a little bit more substantial. Potential. Let's spawn in, not, well, let's spawn in a mobula, see what happens. We. And one of the great things about moving up and down is that uh, you're very hard to hit, and this thing being flat, I actually love this, uh, this hull, this chassis, I guess you could call it, because uh, it is super flat, and also I like the profile. It is the closest thing to a canoe I have for some time, and this thing just flies over the top of stuff and just kind of makes a mess of it. Also, the Hesh does horrible, horrible things to, um, oh, I don't know, things like these turrets. Let's see, are you going to get a critical existence failure here? Because I really hope you do. Come on, you know you want to. 
Yep, there you go. Oh yes, that is what we want to see. So, that's partially because the Mobula I don't think was designed to be shot at from above. Like, I'd be very surprised if it was. But yes, like, the Mobula is pretty missile proof, so if you've ever wondered how to make a decent, um... I guess APS armed fighter, like, you, you can make it kind of idiot proof and just slap a turret uh, on the underside or something. This is basically a canoe uh, pretending very hard to be a jet fighter. Also, cannot get over how good breadboard thrust vectoring is, it's amazing. So now at this point, like, uh, this particular craft takes a long time to actually finish off uh, the Mobula, but uh, having something that can do this is quite convenient. Also, if you've built a cram fighter and then you swap out the crams for APS, it's suddenly like, oh my word, I can actually hit things. I can actually do DPS a little bit. Damage per second rather than damage per minute, which would be DPM, I suppose. So, yeah. Can confirm. Sticking a tur- like, and this is news to no one, by the way. Uh, like, holy crap, APS works better than cram at shooting aircraft? Holy bananas. Uh, but this shell kind of works well, so... Yeah, once again, I'm not sure what this video is. I might have run out of steam uh, on From the Depths a little bit. But that's okay. I'm just gonna, when in doubt, do something fun and share the results. And then you can do fun things. And if you weren't trying to do fun things, what were you trying to do? I'm not sure what we were trying to do. So yeah, I guess that's it. Like, I could combat test this thing against a bunch of other stuff, I suppose, but... Yeah, you get the idea. This thing can, uh... This thing can fly over a mobula and ruin its day. And will eventually just, uh... Probably AI dead it. That's what happened the last time. Uh, I did a little combat test with this thing. So, I guess that's it, really. Just a little short video. Shoot things with guns. You get results. At least in video games. In real life, you also get results, but sometimes those results are bad. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I'll see you next time in From the Depths. And I will be chucking this thing up on the workshop, by the way. Farewell!